All right, moving on. And the government has formed an agency to curb illicit trade and dumping of substandard imports in an effort to protect the manufacturing industry. Our very own Dennis Atieno has more details on this and other stories on the business scene. Trade Cabinet Secretary Peter Munya said the move was prompted by the influx of illegal traders in the country and would also facilitate growth of the country's exports. Munya notes the gazetted special economic zones in Mombasa, Naivasha and Kisumu will position Kenyan exports strategically in the world market. In a separate event, the CS also commissioned new assembly lines at Isuzu, East Africa, constructed at a cost of 1 billion shillings. The move will now boost the company's ability to assemble commercial vehicles. Elsewhere, taxi hailing up Bolt will launch operations in three urban centers in the country. The firm, formerly known as Taxify, will expand to Kisumu, Kakamega and Thika, bringing the number of towns served by the platform to five after Nairobi and Mombasa. Finally, at least 40 banks will be initiated in the mobile credit scheme dubbed Stawi by the end of this year. This, however, depends on the success of the current pilot phase. Speaking at Kondele Market in Kisumu, CBK Governor Patrick Njoroge urged local business community to tap into the scheme to expand their businesses, which currently contributes a meager 3% to the country's GDP. Denis Otieno, Citizen TV.